We got some bizarre rules and laws still on the books. We were talking about uh, one where if you steal a horse in Florida, it's still a law. It says that you will be hung. Now, we have another law that trumps that out, saying that, no, we're not going to hang anybody more, but they haven't taken the original law off the books yet, and they probably need to clean it up a bit. But people at Fox News thought this was a weird law, and I really don't. If you live in Florida, to me, this actually makes sense. They were going through some of the weirdest laws in every state, and they said, we think it's weird in Florida that they have a law that no person shall intentionally feed or entice with feed any wild American alligator or crocodile. And to me, that seems very sensible with what you understand, because we had a story just a couple weeks ago of a alligator that got a little too familiar. And that was one of the reasons why they say that uh, that alligator took that woman's life. And those alligators, they tell the other alligators, oh man, we've got a good little little area over here. They're feeding us again. They're giving us hoagies, you know? <laughs> but if they are having a conversation, though, and, and they're eyeing up a human, do they want younger meat or older meat? Or would they say that I'm going after the old one because she's going to be easier to catch? I think if you watch the video, which I did, and I wish I hadn't. Oh, boy. The gator was actually going for the dog. And uh, the dog heard the gator. The old woman did not. The dog ran and got out the way. The old woman didn't even know what was happening. And then she was just... Grr. Don't you hate that when you watch something and go, yeah, I should not have watched that. The dog's animal instincts kicked in, and he said, I'm going to get the hell out of this. And you wonder, too, if the dog knew what was going on. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, and he was probably like, sorry, lady. Or, or is the dog heartbroken? You know? I mean, I'm sure he's heartbroken. Mm. That's his owner. Yeah. But survival, man. Nature, bruh. The instinct kicks in. You do whatever you have on hand to save yourself. And that dog put the giddy up in it and got out of the scene. It's a very rough story. It's a very rough story. There's been a lot of rough stories lately. Yeah, I know. I know this life's getting more rough. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not sure I'm I'm not sure I'm hard enough for this world anymore. You're weakening and it's getting tougher. (laughs) I'm I'm aging out of Earth, dog. (laughs) It's getting it's getting weird. Can you imagine what it's gonna be like in ten years? Uh, No, I can't, yeah. No, me and Denny's were just talking about that. I go, (laughs) you're you're raising a you're raising a kid in a very weird time, dog. I, I need to die in the next five. <laughs> I'll be a shell of a human. <laughs> Ashley's on here from Pompano. Apparently, Florida's got a couple of uh, very interesting, weird laws still in the books. Uh, what else is on the books here, Ashley? So there is a law that says that you can't shower naked in Florida. I've heard that, and I, and I, yeah, and I think that has to do with so many people had the outdoor showers that there were so many people that were just they didn't care. And think of all the nudists yeah. we have in outdoor showers. And I'm I actually see some sensibilities on that. And it was probably some guy. With, and I you know, actually know of another one too that's pretty funny. Oh, okay. What you got? Apparently. Apparently, you can't have sexual relations with specifically a porcupine in Florida. Well, why and would you want to? They had to make that law for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I think they we... obviously had to make the law for some reason. Somebody did it. Some people are into pleasure Unreal. with their pain, and what that's heck, what a porcupine man. would bring to the equation. Well, I think some people are into the the you know. The animal love. Uh, we have a little too much of that in Florida. We honestly, do. I don't know where we rank. You know, in the nation. On that kind of stuff. But, yeah, if we got a law, then it could be a problem. Ashley, that's great stuff. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Have a good night. Have a good day, guys. I oh, just good. got off work. I'm exhausted. Aww. Aww. Man, what, what kind of job you got to work overnight for? What do you do? I work at an adult store. I just started. Wow. wow. And what is it like working <laughs> overnight in an adult store in South Florida, Ashley? I mean, today was my first day, so I can't really tell you too much. But it was interesting. There were some interesting people that came in. Over, oh. over, or under really ten, uh, ten creepy people. There was only like two creepy people that came in tonight. Okay, okay. Right. At least okay. Not first night, but they said that it's not every night that that happens. Is it? Is it one of those places where people can go in their own room or no? Yeah, they have that in the back. Oh, okay. wow! Oh, man. Wow. And and I have, and I'm and I have to clean up. <gasps> oh no! Oh, oh my you, gosh! Really? I'm starting, I'm starting college in July, so I needed an overnight job so that way I'd be able to go to school during the day. So oh, it works, I guess. God bless you. You are definitely hustling. Oh, that's that's. I'm, tough. I'm gonna be starting college for nursing. So. 
at least it's something for the time being so I can get paid and then still be able to go to school. Okay, you know it's a legit school, right? You're doing your nursing with? I'm going, I'm going to be going to ATC. Okay. I'm at a technical college. Very nice. Okay, well, God bless you, Ashley. Thank you for calling. Wow. That's All a, right, you guys have a good day. Wow. That's a brave girl right there. That is. That's a, that's a girl that's hustling, though, too. I mean, I, wow, working overnight, uh, doing that, and so you can go to school during the day. I'm so glad we took that call. That had so many different twists There's and turns. There's a lot of layers I, in that. I love that call, Ashley. Wow. Oh, she got to do the cleanup. Oh. That's what I'm talking about right there. I that's got to be rough. I would not be back there for a night, too. I can't even imagine. I, I, I definitely do fake cleanups. Yeah, I got clean. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> got it, boss. I would... I would. I, I would totally oh lie to my, my boss and say, God. yeah, we're good. I, no. I cleaned it. Oh, oh. <laughs> gosh, that's rough. Okay, some other uh, interesting weird laws that we got. It's not just Florida. Kentucky has a law that reptiles can't be used in religious services. Oh, like those snake wranglers that bring, yeah. like, the snake. Oh, it's not going to bite me. It's not going to bite me. And it bites them on the neck. Yeah, down on that corner, it's uh, West Virginia. It's kind of like Southwest West Virginia and that part where that and Kentucky touch. They have these weird religious, uh, they're almost like cult kind of things, but I guess they believe, what, God's going to protect them from snake venom and they'll yep. bring out cobras. That's it. And finally in Kentucky, like, y'all too dumb, man. We got to make a law. Reptiles can't be used in religious services. They keep biting you, you big dummies. <laughs> Just like that porcupine law. Yeah, You got to stop. Right. Leave the porcupines <laughs> alone. Come Leave on, the snakes people. alone. <laughs> I mean, find something else to do. We've got uh, adult stores open overnight. Go there. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> and nice people that work there. Yes. Ashley sounded awesome. Sounded perfectly, like a sweetheart. She did. Perfectly willing to do cleanup. Tennessee has a law that unless you have a permit, you can't keep a skunk as a pet. That's good. Yeah, it feels yeah nice. Are, are, are skunks, will they snuggle with you if they are not spraying you? I don't know. I know some people, I think you can get their stinkers taken, and I think some people do have them as pets, and I can't remember. I think typically people say don't use them as pets, because they're. but they do look cute, and people do love them. They're all fluffy, but I'm not sure a skunk makes a good pet. They are a cute animal, man. They really they are. are. They are adorable. They trick you with that cuteness, and they spray you in the face. Yeah. It's something just horrible. <laughs> in West Virginia, you can't use a ferret to help you hunt. But you can sleep with your sister. <laughs> West Virginia, man. In Indiana, there's no catching fish with your bare hands or dynamite. Have you ever seen those videos on TikTok of those hillbillies jumping in a canal and catching like a big catfish with their bare hands? I've seen the video, I've lived it. Yeah, I've seen that it. is pretty yeah, I've impressive. Seen do that, if yeah. you've never fallen in that rabbit hole of videos on any social media, do it. It is amazing. Okay. I, I could get lost watching people catch fish with their they bare hands. They go hand. under the water completely, yeah. and then they come up and they're fighting this fish with their bare hands. It's You're unreal. like, damn, that's a man. Red Rednecks are fun to watch, honestly. If you did a they redneck are. channel, if you did a redneck channel, I think it would do very well. They redneck are. Olympics, man. They're the most entertaining and fascinating creature in their natural habitat. When me and Bigfoot went to the Peace River, that place is just loaded up with a bunch of rednecks. It was so fun to and watch. There they are highly entertaining. Scared of nothing. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. In Pennsylvania, there is a law in the books, no explosives at weddings. And you can't fire a gun either. Obviously had some problems with that. In New Mexico, there is a law that you can't dance while wearing a sombrero. Okay. What? That's the most fun thing to do. I, I wonder mm. if that's why they throw them on the ground and dance around them then. Because there's a law that you can't dance with it on. Well, what about the mariachi? But you they wonder, don't really dance, though, Virginia. They, they just do, too. No, no. They, they really do. don't. No, no. They, they usually play the, just to play the music. Yeah, I've never seen a dancing they mariachi. Do. They do dance. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think you can claim that. You call Big Linda. Uh, okay. Yeah, call, call my mom. Up. Call her up. <laughs> We're not saying a mariachi person can't dance, but typically... I, I don't think I've ever seen a, mari a mariachi person dance. <laughs> uh, in Kansas, kids over 14 can't use playgrounds. That almost feels like a good law, doesn't it? Kids I don't over know. 14 I don't can't use playgrounds? I don't, I, I don't have like you that. ever seen a big kid knock a little kid off a slide? I have. Yeah, but that's just a kid being a jerk. That, that's going to be right. anywhere. I, yeah. I don't think you should punish all the, the cool 14-year-olds that just want to get their swing on. No, no, no. Mississippi, there's no swearing in public if two or more people are around. In South Carolina, it's illegal for a man to seduce a woman by promising to marry her if he doesn't mean it. <laughs> That is ridiculous. Them smooth talkers. I wonder how many times that's been brought to court. 
Mm -hmm. (laughs) And in Nebraska, technically, you can't get married if you have an STD. Huh. Okay. Really? Yeah. But I bet people still do it. Yeah, I mean, you know, now, like I said, a lot of these laws are just antiquated and they wouldn't ever go back to do them again. But they're there. They're on the books.